What's going on, Risco gang? Coming at y'all boys with another banger, and today, EA done did it. They done did it, my boys. Yes, they have just revealed Mad 25's superstar mode. I'm talking about showdown, career mode, tattoos, my nigga, everything. Boy, we're gonna get into it. Now wait, one damn second before we do get into the video, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe, fellas. We are almost to 20,000 damn subs, so make sure you guys are tapped in, and make sure you guys have that notification bell on so you guys don't miss any video. All right, boys, we gotta hop straight into the video. So yes, EA did go ahead and drop a entire blog for Mad 25 Superstar mode. They did go ahead and reveal it today. They did not drop a trailer, which I'm kind of surprised, I ain't gonna lie. Kind of surprised they didn't drop a trailer, but it's just because it's not a necessarily brand new mode. It was a brand new mode last year, so they dropped the trailer last year. This year, they didn't really need a whole entire trailer dedicated to it. But once again, they dropped a bunch of changes, a bunch of things for this mode. Now, first thing first, we have already kind of covered a lot about the mode because I've played it. I played the mode already. I played it in the beta, and it was a lot of stuff that we see in the beta. It wasn't final, was not the final game at all, but it showcased a lot of stuff that you could expect for this game. So we already kind of covered a bunch of it in that video. Make sure you guys check that video out because once again, I talked about some stuff in that video that I won't necessarily talk about in this video. Example, the player builder. I broke down the entire player builder, what they changed, everything about it in that video. So make sure you guys watch that video. Now, getting back to this, we're about to go and look into the blog. I will have a link in the description to the blog if you want to read it for yourselves, if you want to uh, you know, look at it for yourselves. But we're going to go ahead and break it down. It's not a super long blog, which I thank God it's not. Like, I would be mad just if this was like 17 pages long, like some of those, you know, college football blogs. Good God, that was kind of annoying because a lot of this stuff was just fluff. This blog is not a bunch of fluff. It really gets straight to the point and addresses everything that they really need to address about the mode. So now let's get into the blog, boys. So the first thing they go ahead and say, they talk about the average. They go ahead and show a screenshot and I'm gonna have some like I'm gonna have some gameplay of it in the background They drop gameplay on Twitter. So I have those clips going up in the background So first they're gonna talk about was avatar it says your superstar journey starts when you decide which type of player you want to be Physical your physical avatar as well as your archetype new to superstar and match me five are preset archetypes The choice is yours different archetypes pro provide different maximum ratings For example, you start with your ranks at 60 meaning they cap out at 84 as as such, the tier of the ability associated with that rating caps out at bronze. You can spend three creation points on any given rating. So, as a quarterback, you can spend three creation points and bump that starting off 60 throw power to a starting base value of 75. Now, the max throw power rating you can get is now 99, and the associated ability arm talent can be upgraded to gold. All of this information is presented to you at the archetype screen, current rating, max potential, creation points, and ability tiers. So, once again, I talked about this in my last video covering you know everything about this mode yes there's going to be basically creation point that you kind of like shape your build with so they should show their example right there that's a perfect example of how it works basically if you do not spend your creation points on a certain rating it can only cap out at 84 so if you're a, a car if you're, if you're a, a cornerback and you want to have 99 man you need to put some creation points towards your man so that it starts off at a higher value and then boom you can now get to 99 and that has a max potential of 99 so that is huge and that help, kind of helps out with a lot of the creation and customization of your builds you know and this is going to go a long way with making unique builds and things Things that nature also says right here additionally you have the choice you have to choose between spending creation points on skill point uh, on core skills throw power accuracy throwing the pressure etc versus spending them on physical skills speed acceleration etc physical skills don't have abilities associated with them but they do have significantly impact how you move and interact on the field how will you strike a balance between spending enough uh, enough on physical skills to suit your play style while also developing your must-have abilities so i also talked about this also you can spend these creation points on basically all of your ratings that matter so speed excel strength um uh man coverage zone coverage everything in the book you can basically associate, I mean, you can put towards with your creation points. So it's really gonna be about what type of build you wanna make. And once again, this is gonna make unique builds because you can't have 99 speed, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. You can't have everything in the book and that's just gonna make for a more unique 
build system. Not everybody's just gonna have the same meta build that has 99 everything. No, that is literally out the window and I've seen it in the beta, that is out the window. That doesn't mean that you can't have like a crazy good build. That just doesn't mean, what it basically means is you can't have 99 everything. That's essentially what this is saying. The, the, the days of you having 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 strength, 99 man, kind of like how it was last year where you had a bunch of stuff at 99, that's just not gonna be how it is in this game, which once again is a big W, just because that creates a meta. That, that That's literally what creates a meta in the game when there's a, a overpowered, get everything, uh, max everything out type of build, that's what creates a meta and it's just not good for the game. Next they're gonna talk about customization. They say, we heard you about more customization for physical appearance too. We've added more faces, more hairstyles, more facial hair options, and yes, Superstar fans, tattoos are here. So yes, thank God, my boy. I ain't gonna lie, seeing tattoos in this game when I seen it in the beta, boy, it made me shed a damn tear. I ain't gonna cap, my boys. Boy, I was about to damn cry. Like, this was something that we've been asking for since the beginning of time, my boy. Since the goddamn Stone Age, we have been screaming, please add tattoos, please add tattoos. It's something that you see at 2K, it needs to be in this game, and yes, we are finally getting the tattoos. They have a good amount of options. Uh, it's not, you know, leg tats and, um, like, you know, neck tats. It's really, it, from what I've seen in the beta, it was just a bunch of arm tats, but the good thing was they had a bunch of variety, and they actually looked really, really good. So, that's the big W about the tattoos, and once again, just a huge W that they're coming to the game. Um, and I would 100% expect them to add more throughout the season, and also, they were free. You don't have to spend goddamn $20 to get a goddamn... Uh, 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 arm sleeve so that was like huge and I'm so glad it's finally coming to this game. Next thing we're going to talk about is going to be the transfer of players between college football and Madden 25. So it says right here, the return of ES Sports college football also marks the return of a classic feature within Madden franchise. Player import will, will let you select any Road to Glory avatar to use in Superstar mode. Your collegiate legacy will follow you into the pros as the game recognizes and reacts to your affiliation. From college freshman to NFL GOAT, you can once again play through the entire Entire journey of a, a football star. If you import a character from Class Football 25's Road to Glory, you get an additional uh, creation point beyond the base cap of 15. So this is big. Like this is something. Once again, I talked about this before. I talked about it in the last video. This was the biggest thing they had to do. If this was not a thing in this game mode, my nigga, they would have failed off rip. This was 100% the one, like this was the guaranteed, if they did this, this is a W. And another thing that I love from what they said is how your player import actually matters. So it says right here, your, your college legacy will follow you into the pros as the game recognizes and reacts to your affiliation. That is huge. So the game is actually gonna recognize what you did in college, what, what, what you know, what college you went to, things of that nature, that is huge. You'll get additional creation points for importing your player. So basically that means you get a lot more things to max out at that 99 potential than just the normal base that what everybody else would get. Next up, we're going to talk about the combine. So it says the combine was fun in match week four. This year, however, it really matters. Think about how often a player barely on your radar puts on a show at the combine and all of a sudden skyrockets up the draft boards. Your performance at the combine will impact your superstar in many ways. Your combine performance can boost your player ratings. These boosts aren't for a game or two. A successful combine could tangibly increase your player rate, your player starter rating, raising your floor for the rest of your career. So yes, instead of it just being, oh, just another thing or just being a thing where if you run a four one it doesn't really matter too much this time it will actually give you a boost and going back to the build system you want to have as many boosts for your player as you can get so this is definitely going to matter it's going to boost things like your speed things of that nature so yes you're going to have a you know you could you can have a thing where maybe you don't put a bunch of creation points towards your speed but you try to do good in the combine, if you run a very fast 40, you're gonna get a boost to your speed. So instead of it being only what, like at 85, because you didn't go too crazy with the creation points, now you can have a little bit of a boost because you did really well in the combine. So this is really big and I love how they're doing this. Also it says in terms of uh, drills at the combine, everyone's gonna uh, participate in the 40 yard dash in the bench, bench press. However, your linebackers won't be throwing passes. Combine drills will be tailored to your uh, superstar's position. We added 26 
new mini game drills for the combine. Now it's time to lace up your cleats and get on the field. So yes, that's even going to matter. Your position and you know what you are is gonna depend on what drills you get. Everybody's just not gonna do the same five combine drills every single time. This is gonna help with the replayability and just be making making it more immersion and a lot more unique for positions and with how you play. Next, they go ahead and talk about some more big things with the career mode aspect of this. So they're gonna be having a thing called Superstar Quest. Obviously, this was something that was in Madden 24. It was introduced in Madden 24. They had Quest, where you kind of like did certain things in the mode that got you like gear and things of that nature, brand deals, things of that nature. But in this game, they're making it a lot just more worth it and a lot more rewarding. And it's, just, it's gonna bring a lot more replayability to the mode. Says right here, there are no more important pieces to your superstar's journey than Quest. Quests will propel you into NFL stardom or keep you grinding in the trenches. Your quests are triggered in narrative moments throughout your journey. Maybe your coach pulls you into the office for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Maybe a teammate wants you to let wants to let you know that they want the ball more. How you respond to these narrative moments will determine your quest and open it up for your superstar. Next, they say in Match 25 Superstar Experience, there are more than 900 quests tailored specifically to your superstar skill set, responses, and journey. So, like I told you y'all in my time playing this in the beta this is the biggest thing that's coming to career mode for all my career mode guys for my guys who want to feel rewarded for playing career mode this is going to be your way of feeling rewarded and getting and just having a full path in your nfl journey this is going to be huge it has a big part in the mode and tell you right now you're gonna have to take advantage of this for all my guys who like just playing showdown or just like playing online if you miss out on this you're gonna be missing out on boost you're gonna be missing out on gear you're gonna be missing out on a lot of stuff if you do not play this so yes career mode is gonna have a huge impact on your player on your career and overall in the game itself so yes you're gonna have to play career mode you don't have to obviously but it's gonna play a big part and i would also recommend that you guys play both career mode and showdown 3v3 i'm gonna talk about the player grade system getting an update it says right here in game player grading was introduced in match 24 in match 25 we bolstered player grading with a new suite of actions that impact grades this year, for example, receivers will see grade boosts for successfully sticking to and running their route. Running backs will see a great improvement for, for hitting the correct hole and much more. So basically, they improved the player grade system by adding a lot more things that will grade you and boost you and things of that nature during your game. And I'm so glad that they are bringing this back. And I'm so glad that it's a thing in this game because it just helps out with grading your performance during a game. And now, finally, yes, they go ahead and talk about Showdown 3v3 on the blog, boys. Ooh! <laughs> hey, let's get into it. Let's get, let, 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 let's go get straight into it. So, boom. I'm going to say right here, it says, what's better than squatting with your crew? Last year, we unveiled the three-on-three -three superstar showdown mode. Since then, you've teamed up with your friends, taking on a gauntlet of squads, and improving your superstars. Superstar showdown in Match 25 has evolved and leveled up. So, yes, it is still going to be 3v3, and I'm, I don't think any of y'all should be surprised by this. You should 100% not be surprised by it being 3v3. No, my nigga. I'm sorry they're not doing seven on seven. I'm sorry, my nigga. All right, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. If you thought they were going to do that in this game, you think too much of EA, all right? I'm gonna just keep it real, bro. I'm gonna just say it like this. EA has already put a huge stance on they do not like the seven on seven all AI aspect. They said they didn't like it. They said they didn't like how it tested. So they will most likely never go that far. The most of I ever see them do is probably go 4v4. So once again, do not expect them to go seven on seven anytime soon also another thing is this game mode can still be good with just 3v3 it actually makes sense now going back to when yard was a thing that did not make sense because it was 6v6 with ais which makes no damn sense that would literally that literally ruins the point of the mode now with showdown this actually makes sense it's a all user you know ai three on three all user skill based type of thing type of mode so now it actually makes sense so once again, do not expect them to do no damn 7-on-7. Seven seven. And now getting back into the blog, it says, Firstly, there are more events at launch. Yes, you heard them right here. At launch, you'll be directed to the Ocho Cinco Celebration event. In this event, you'll get a point for every yard you gain while celebrating. You'll be playing two 
a much higher uh, point total than just 21 in this mode. Don't get greedy though. You know how easy it is to fumble when you're celebrating, while you hit while celebrating. Another event you'll see, you'll find is in Season of Boom. And uh, in the Season of Boom, your team will receive three points for every successful hit stick. So there's a lot to unpack right there just off of that. So yes, there's already gonna be live events as the game drops. We already know Ranked is gonna be back in this game for me playing the beta. Yes, Ranked is going to be back. And yes, there's going to be live Live events, so basically like a more casual way. So if you don't want to sweat, if you don't want to if you don't want to face the best players in the world, you will be playing these live events, which will be a more casual, more fun, more you know, just unique kind of way of playing. It's a more different way of playing, different you know, scoring and things of that nature. So yes, this will be available at launch, which is a huge, I mean, huge W. And you see it right here. Yes, <laughs> there is a brand new venue. Thank God. Thank God there is a brand new venue. I know a lot of boys were asking me, is it gonna be a new venue? It's gonna be new venues updated. Yes, there's gonna be new venues updated. There's gonna be new um, places to play, things of that nature. Yes, Finish. this will be a thing in this game, which is huge. Also, it does say right here, it says, DevNo, keep an eye out for events come Halloween time. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. So, yes, it's not just going to be, um, you know, y'all see the new venue. It looks kind of like um, the Miami venue for Madden 21 Yard. So, that that's basically going to be a thing. And then, also, they're going to have brand new venues. So, it's not just going to be old, rehashed venues coming back. No, they're also going to have brand new venues coming with the live events with this game. So, yes. Definitely sound like they're gonna be updating this mode a lot this year. Last thing they go ahead and say, it says right here, you love teaming up with your squad in Madden 24 for some three on three. In Madden, 20, in Madden 25 Superstar Shine, you'll be able to play against your friends. Oh my God. In challenge mode, you can jump in the, into the game with, with up to five other friends in some epic three on three battles. The showdown arena is the perfect place for you and your friends to show off your style with customizable introductions, emotes, and celebrations. So yes, thank God, bro. We seen it in the beta. I told y'all I was in the beta. Yes, player friend is coming to this game. Boy, it'll make a grown man cry. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, it'll make a grown man cry, bro. This was the number one thing that we were asking for in Madden 24. The number one thing that was missing in Madden 24 was player friend. So now, yes, it's coming to this game. It's called challenge mode. So yes, it will be coming to this game, which is a huge W. They also say customiz customizable uh, introduction. So yes, there's gonna be like a pregame, like emote that you do. Think of 2K where you have like a pregame and out and um, you know, outro, an intro and outro kind of like emote um yes that will be a thing and yes you know emotes and celebrations customizable emotes and celebrations are coming back so yes it sounds really good this is basically everything coming to showdown i kind of talked about a lot more in depth in my uh in my beta review when i talked about it i talked more about the player building things of that nature but overall though this was the entire blog y'all let me know how y'all feel about it down below let me know in the comments below Bro, I am so excited for this. I feel like they nailed about everything they had to touch on and everything they had to address. Obviously, we have to see if the, you know the glitches are still there. From what I played in the beta, there wasn't as many, nowhere near as many glitches as we've seen in Madden 24. So obviously, once again, we have to see um, how the final game looks, if there's a bunch of glitches and things of that nature. But overall though, I love what they added. Glitches can always be fixed, but you know, when you when you have some like player friend coming to the game day one, that's gonna do so good for this mode. It's gonna bring a lot more content to the game, and just a lot more ways to play to this game with the live events and player friend and rank things of that nature. So yes, I'm very excited. I love everything I hear. I think they nailed it. Honestly, I think they did. I think they did a perfect job on this from top to bottom. But once again, y'all let me know in the comments below how y'all feel. Once again, Madden 25 drops next Monday. So make sure, once again, if you guys are going to be, you know, importing your player from, from College Football 25, make sure you guys get that done before next Monday because next Monday, 4 p.m. is when the Deluxe and the MVP owners can get their hands on the game. So make sure you guys take, it at, take care of that before the game drops. But all right, boys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment and subscribe more bangers just like this one until next time peace